Opening puck drop brought to you by Washington's Lottery. The tip's going to go left to right across your dial. Referees are Jeff Ingram and Duncan Brown with signed by the Western Hockey League. Adam Brastad and Justin Nickel are your linesmen. Vancouver controls off the opening draw. It's fed ahead for Cole Shepard, broken up with the silver tips, and Gonsalves out of his own zone, banks at right boards, and back into the Giants' end. Trevor Longo, pick up from Medicine Hat. Now feeding it for sort of winds his way through center. Picked off by Bryce Kindop, and down the right boards, he'll flush it back into the Giants' zone. Cole Fonstad chugging away, but taken right back by Vancouver and Buffaro to center ice. The relay for Cole Shepard, dancing past one man into the offensive zone. Second move, negated by Wyatt Wiley at the right circle. Dips counter, Christensen, rink wide, Dawson Butt, right wing into the zone, shoots, save is made by David Zendek. Rebound, Brendan Lee. Out of the right corner, low to high, Miss Christensen in a silver tip home debut, brings it back in, and the slot fires and miss the net. Loose puck now to the backboards. Tips control with Lee, pitching one over. But left corner controls. On the cycle, Lee takes it, and behind the giant net, worked on by Canick Leeper, Tips and Jalen Price take it right back. Left dash marks. His feet in back, taken away by the Giants, and Canick Leeper admans Prezuso at center, and drives this one all the way back through, but the Giants beat the icing. Call a center and just deflecting wide off Rizzuso. Loose puck now left circle. Tristan Nielsen winds his way back toward the line. Cutting right side now, dropping it, and Gendron taken away. Tips take off left wing Gurney. Into the zone. Nice move. Pass one to the right circle. Set one on net. Save is made. Rebound to Mitchell. Loose puck and covered up by David Zendek. Justin Gurney. Nearly putting on a show and nearly ending it with the red light coming on. And we have 18-19 to go in period one and a face-off coming back in the Vancouver zone. Yeah, confidence uh, brimming from Gurney as he scored last night in Portland and nearly did everything himself. It started in his own end, diagnosed the play really well, traced his man to the blue line, read the handoff was coming, he busted it up, took control of the puck, and then it almost undressed everybody back on defense for Vancouver. Only Tendek was there to save the day. Tips win the draw. It's sent back down to the line. Steely save is made. Kendoff the rebound. Knocked down by traffic. Kendoff third attempt. He scores! Bring him on! Out come the stuffed animals on Teddy Bertos. remaining in period one a rebound right past the blocker side of david tendek and it's one nothing silver tips what a scene <laughs> what a scene here in everett as the teddy bear is just continuing to come on the ice but what a goal from kindop to start it off you mentioned mike there haven't been many times since it's come back that they've they've waited very long it's happened right away and less than two minutes in, it happens again from the man who's on the hottest streak right now for the Silver Tips, Bryce Kindop, getting the job done. And Tendek was just a little lost, I think, there, Mike. He never, he didn't see the initial shot that came in. And I don't know that he ever found it again because there were bodies in front. It caromed, it came down. Kindop had a crack at it and really, Tendek was just in really poor position to stop that puck. He was kind of hugging the right side of his net tight to the right post because the shot was initial shot came in from the right point but where Kindop ended up scoring from basically the top of the circles all he did was glide it on the ice over to the opposite side of the net and into the net it went so now right through the gates comes a pouring of help countless individuals on the ice here to round up the stuffed animals into circles and eventually deposit them back onto vehicles also making their way onto the ice. First led by a massive Dodge Ram truck and then an ATV vehicle usually utilized by Lincoln and a trailer as well hitched on the very back of this. Silver tip players, and I mean all of them, over the bench right now to help round things up along with the individual assistants. And before these go into the pile, players take their turn 
trying to help capture the memories on photography. 18 minutes and 8 seconds. That didn't take long. Bryce Kinduck gets a Teddy Bear toss goal. Who else? 22nd goal of the season. And in case you're wondering now, with 16 points last eight games. Yeah, 16 points last eight games. The goal's coming seemingly every night for him. And you look at the overall leaders right now. Now he's just one back for the WHL lead and goals scored with 22. And he's still got plenty of time tonight to maybe make that happen. So... Nice start here for the Silver Tips. Get it out of the way. Get the fans and a little bit more space, a little bit more shoulder room now. The armrests become available as some of these teddy bears and stuffed animals that are making their way. I mean, life size. There, there are probably there's almost a life size teddy bear per Silver Tip out there on the ice right now. There's about 10 to 12 of them in the hands. I, I see a unicorn as well out there at center ice. So. All the guys kind of capturing their favorites and escorting them to the vehicles. Now, roughly uh, eight minute delay to clean up the entire collection of fur. Bryce Kindop. It only took him one minute and 52 seconds into the game. A rebound goal is 22nd from Cole Fonstad and Ronan Seeley to make it one nothing on Teddy Bear Toss night. Uh, it's a great start for the Silver Tips. Uh, getting back to the game action, uh, getting them out in front uh, of this Vancouver Giants team, which, as we said in the pregame, you know, goal scoring hasn't exactly been their strong suit this year so uh, getting that early lead making them chase this game a little bit I, I think that's going to hopefully help set the tone and uh, get the guys going back skating around get those legs fired back up and get out there and see uh, you know it's a, it's a little bit different uh, that that shift the response to the the goal you know, you kind of stress that shift because you want to either maintain momentum or swing momentum maybe back in your direction that's a it's a totally different concept when you have to wait about 10 minutes for all the teddy bears to get cleaned up so back to play at a one nothing silver tips advantage they've already pumped four shots on net and have outshot the giants four nothing that's side Cole Shepard at the red line, chips it out of play into the silver tip bench, and now we have two minutes and three seconds officially gone by in this game. If you might recall, first couple of years, it was tough to get a teddy bear toss goal on the board in tips history, but ever since this event came back in 2015, it's like a rebirth. It's now four of five years the tips have scored the teddy bear toss goal in period one. Back to action, Cole Fonstad, left side, floats it back in behind the giant net. Taken away, Buffaro to the near boards, kept in by Wiley. Looking off for Kindop, right corner, centering attempt, glides on through. Here's Gonsalves, left dash marks. Into the corner, centers, and just out of the reach of Wiley. Good Fonstad, and some hustle as well. The pitch this one to the right side, Gonsalves redirects it wide, and now left boards Christensen with control. Christensen hangs on. Back to the left point. His shot changed angles, dip low, and just wide again. Loose puck now to the Giants, and Cole Shepard is center. Pitched one back to the silver tip. Blue line and taken away by Wyatt Wiley. Across for Christensen. Redirects off Dawson Butt into the Giants zone. Brendan Lee to the front of the net, but his backhander was blocked. And now taken by Lee behind the Vancouver net. Around left side, fed the line for Fairbrothers. Shoots it wide of the net. Loose puck right corner, but centering attempt, and just rolled wide of Jackson Berezowski. Left corner, Fairbrother, with possession. Trying to back off one man, but taken away by the Giants. They counter on through center, left wing, Prezuso went of the zone. Low snap shot is a save made by Wolf and a rebound of the left boards. Parker Hendren, ex-Giant. Will beat it in behind his own silver tip net, Fairbrother up for Lee. Left wing goes cross ice. Hendren ahead of the giant line turned away and Trevor Longo will launch it back into the cross corner with 16-18 to go. one nothing silver tips on Teddy Bear Toss night. Again, took Bryce Kindop just 152 into the game to get the party started. Loose puck of the right boards. Forced to center ice by Conrad Mitchell to the giant line. And return now up the left side. And back in now by the Giants' Tanner Brown. Lewis Puck, Ostopchuk in behind. Fed one to Canick, Leapert, side of the right circle. Chased by Mitchell behind the net. Now joined by Fairbrother. On the cycle, left corner. Cruz Plummer walks out, but 
Eventually negated and cleared back out by Parker Hendren and back into the Vancouver zone. Tanner Brown back to play. 15.35 to go here in the first tip. Change up Aiden Sutter, Jacob Wright, and playing up front to begin the game, Olin Zellweger. Wyatt Wiley and Ronan Seeley back on defense. Giants reset. It is Brown. Now Lee toss up the right wing, sort of into the offensive zone, but offside are the Giants. And a whistle now with 15 17 to go in period one. The Silver Tips lead Vancouver 1 0. Well, the previous shift was probably the Giants' uh, longest stay in the Silver Tip zone the entire evening. Uh, Silver Tips have really controlled this one, obviously, still very early, just five minutes in, but uh, they have looked sharp. And the one thing, though, about the time that the Giants spent in the Everett End, no shots on goal to show for it. So Everett kept them to the perimeter really well, made them work hard. Uh, did not allow them to complete many passes, just kept the puck to the perimeter. Tips going with the big line out there with, as far as production, Gonsalves, Kindot, and Cole Fonstadt. And now right side, Buffaro, Lee Tossop, Prezuso, and deflecting in. Right corner, Patrician chased by Kindot. Set one to the back. Longo hangs on, deflected off Prezuso, and a loose puck pinballs back to Gonsalves, and the Silver Tips take off. Left wing, Fonstad floats it into the cross-corner giant zone. Gonsalves pursuing. Puck now taken by Anderson. Driving wide against Longo, forced to behind the net. Fonstad, left corner. Set one across, but hung on to it, but ran into his own teammate, Anderson. And the puck rolls against the backboards now with butt tying up Michael Vosnika. Longo in to help. Incoming as Brendan Lee takes it away and fed it back up high, but nobody home. Giants pursue, maybe have numbers. Down the right, Prezuso into the zone, but a centering attempt blocked by Dylan Anderson. That is a tough play against an established WHL veteran who can help put the puck to the back of the net. 14.01 to go. Canick Leapers over now, right side, a shot in front off a of plumber. Knocked down by traffic, and the tips counter. To the red line, Berezowski floats it back in. Tips change up wholesale. Connor Horning, lead toss now to the silver tip line. Redirected back in by X. Seattle Thunderbird holding Katz away. Now it's Christensen. Off the left wing for Conrad Mitchell. And to help out his price, taken away by Jackson Shepard. Bumps it over left boards. While he out hustling Katz away, reroutes it behind his own net. Christensen's headman. Out of the reach of Gurney. Rerouted back in by Conrad Mitchell, but it's offside silver tips, and we get a whistle again with 13.22 to go in period one, and again, it's one nothing tips. A yeah, good support there, uh, silver tips backing each other up, uh, realizing where the danger was. You mentioned Dylan Anderson skating back, really good play to negate a two-on-one. He also followed that up by sidestepping a really big hit. There's a giant trying to take a run at him in the corner there. He sidestepped it really well into the glass. Uh, went the Vancouver forward, but then another really nice play in front of the net by Jackson Berezowski. Realized there was some danger, crept down there from the wing, sniffed the puck out, got it out of harm's way before a giant could get to it in front of Dustin Wolf's net. Tips dumped it in. Fairbrother big hit on Longo, and now Fonstad left boards, rims it in behind, but taken away by the Giants. Longo. Lead toss left wing to center and broken up now by Fairbrother as he was pursued by Justin Lees. 12.57 to go in period one. Tips control. For the Giants, Lees breaks to the bench. Here to begin a change, and Kindop takes the lead pass, sends it in left corner. Fonstad centering, but knocked down by Longo. And he had Gage Gonsalves wide, and I mean wide open in front of the net. Gatter attack Vancouver, left wing Cole Shepard, silver tip zone, hits the brakes. Fed it now behind the net. And a feed out of the reach of Milos Roman. Next goal for him, it's 50. Sort of right corner, centering, deflected off the back of Wolf, down to the crease, and swept away, and clear back out by Dawson Butt. Uh, that took a climb up the escalator over the top of the net from behind the goal line, and luckily it did not hit Dustin Wolf's shoulder or helmet or anything, came back out towards his blue paint. Bosnica given away to Gurney. Tips can clear. Nielsen, now out muscle by Gurney, tips skated out. And Gurney left boards, banks it in deep for a change with 12 minutes and 2 seconds left here in period 1. Again, one nothing silver tips on Teddy Bear Toss night. Bryce Kindop had the honors, 152 into the hockey game. Nielsen drops it back for Horning in the Giants zone. Trying to shake off Mitchell. Lead feed right side, Canick Leapert. Guns one ahead for Nielsen. 
The flex back in on right wing, and Prezuso is offside. And we get a whistle now with 11.41 to go in period one, and it remains a 1-0 lead for the Silver Tips. Bryce Kendop, multi-point games, 49 in his career, and currently at 91 goals already, passing Zach Amel's six all-time. Next up, Connor Dewar needs eight to reach him and surpass the fifth all-time. Feels like that's well within his reach, I would say, this year, uh, considering he's, uh, in the month of December, just been absolutely red hot. His ex-teammate and a one-time ex-roommate as well. Tips control left wing, Christensen into the zone. Low snapshot, save made 10 deck. Rebound to flex behind the net. Zellweger to the right corner. Pinned and leaving it for Sutter, who's checked by Sorted. Nearby is Zellweger, being worked on by Patricia. Off his back end, nearby for Sutter. BC native leaves it in behind the giant net, but taken away by Kanik Leeper. And Rockets one far boards kept in. Left side, Christensen, centering attempt, bumped away by the Giants, and they counter all on the center. Off goes Jackson Shepard, right wing into the silver tip zone for a backhander. Blocker saved by Wolf. Rebound tumbles in the near circle. But not out. Prezuso given away near boards to Ronan Seeley. He feeds it left side Christensen. 10.44 to go. Back to Seeley cruising on through center. Into the offensive zone on left wing. Pulls up into the corner. Worked on by Buffaro. Fonstad off bench. Right corner feed Gonsalves. Cycling Fonstad. Swings it back up high. Out of the reach of Seeley. And down it goes. Seeley chased by Prezuso. Bumps it free to Fonstad. Works it up the left wing. Gonsalves into the offensive zone. Driving the net. Knocked away by Longo. And from behind the zone net, looking for Bosnica. It is back to Longo carrying on through center. Longo dumps it toward the silver tip net. Save made by Wolf. Spits it out of the glove for Wyatt Wiley. And back in the silver tips. 10.02 to go. Up the left wing, Gonsalves drives it back in. To the right corner, Dawson Butt. Worked on by Kanik Leeper. Second giant, Milos Roman jumping in. And fed one now to the right side. Buffaro going cross ice to center. Cole Shepard bumps to in. Now left side for Roman. His snap shot. Stay made by Wolf. And just cut the short side angle off in time. Milos Roman, a lot of talent for his game. As a giant forward and a Calgary draft pick. Tips worked it back in deep. Along to center ice, Connor Horning. Drives it back in, blocker side corner of Wolf, with now 9.24 to go in the first, and the tips up 1-0 on Vancouver. Christensen reroutes it now for his fellow overager, Wyatt Wiley, and wheeled around left boards for Lee. Lee tosses center, out of the reach of Gurney, icing call coming up, and we'll come back in a moment. 9-10 to go in the first, Silver Tips 1, Vancouver nothing, and this is Sound Transit, Everett Silver Tips Hockey on KRKO, Everett's greatest hits, sports, and more. Mike Benton, Justin Morrison with you. Glad he can be with us here before a near-packed-out house in downtown Everett. Sold-out crowd last season, and if not a sellout, it's awfully close here tonight. Right side, stop chuck on net, save made by Wolf. Rebound turned away to the far corner, and the silver tip skated out. Conrad Mitchell left side, bumped away by Lees. Rerouting as Christensen to Wiley's silver tip zone. Christensen banks up the left boards off of Mitchell, and Jalen Price will flush it back in to the glove side corner of 10 deck. Giants control and clear. All the way back into the tip zone, Seeley with 8.32 to go in the first. Will peel back behind his zone net. Scott Anderson out there as his fellow D partner. Shoots a long toss left wing, but that overshot Conrad Mitchell for an icing call. And a faceoff will come back into the Silver Tip zone. Uh, Silver Tips have uh, uh, had a little trouble here lately, the past few minutes, gaining control of the puck. Uh, they spent a lot of time in their own end. Dustin Wolf has come up with a couple of good saves uh, from tight angles there, but uh, they are just a little bit off. They've just... Uh, near misses uh, on some passes in the Vancouver zone that could have set up real golden uh, scoring opportunities. So see if they can get back to it. The little things like passing uh, has got to sharpen up a little bit. Seeley to Mitchell up the left wing and Kindop able to flush it back out to center ice. Longo chipping it back into the silver tip zone and negated by Gage Gonsalves and bump right wing and here comes Fonstad to center ice. 8.05 left. Fonstad into the offensive zone but again an offside call. So a few stops and starts we've had since the 
teddy bear toss goal. Shot count six for silver tips. Up one nothing on Vancouver. Yeah, and just I think one of those shots, Mike, in the past five minutes for the silver tips because they were uh, they got five on the board real quick, five shots on goal, and it's just become a lot tougher here. Vancouver's skating a lot stronger uh, and really making life difficult for the silver tips. Rice Kind up offside again, so we have 7:58 left here in period one, and again it's one nothing silver tips. This season for every home game victory, BECU proudly donates a hundred dollars to housing hope becu is a proud financial partner of the everett silver tips and you see a little contact there after the whistle there kindop and nielsen kind of running into each other pretty much deliberately and both guys uh, standing their ground not going to back down from a challenge face off one by the giants and immediately pushed back in by vostica as he was level left boards by bryce kindop and behind the tips net, Fairbrother for Hendren. Lead toss left wing out of the reach of Fonstadt. Danik Leeper returns on right wing to Vostika. Here come the Giants. Vostika snapshot save made by Wolf between the circles. Loose puck left boards for Zuso, given away to Gonsalves. Getting up into help, and Gonsalves up the middle clears this one to center ice. 7.23 to go here in the first. The Giants have caught up nearly in shots. It is 6-5 silver tips. And the early Kindop goal, the difference, 152 into Teddy Bear Toss night. The far off of the Giants, long breakout feet. Overshot Jackson Shepard, but no icing call as Wiley off the backboards, plays up the right wing to center. Aiden Sutter looking to relay for Zellweger, has got a touch up here. Christensen bails on the play, and now it is whistled down, 654 remaining. Here in this first period, I think they will call offside here, I suppose. Are they going to call this intentional offside, Justin? Yeah, and what was odd there, and Coach Dennis Williams has his arms up, uh, as if to say, you know, what are you making that call for, was that that was one of the officials, the linesman, I thought, had deemed it legal. Christensen was stalling right at the blue line. He was not playing it deliberately, and he tried to reach out and poke it just as the silver tips uh, were coming back on side, as the player was skiing over the blue line. And whether he jumped the gun a bit, that's fine, but it certainly didn't look like deliberate. So that brought the faceoff back into the silver tip zone, but the tips will push this one out. And here comes Kindop right side, negated as he entered the zone by Horning, but had a long snapshot off, and that's a save made by Tendek. And he hangs on now with 6.41 to go in period one, and a faceoff will come back in the Vancouver zone. Yeah, and Kindop with a little word for the official there, as it did look like he maybe had a head of steam, maybe just incidental contact with the stick of one of the Giants defenders, but that's the second time we saw earlier Jake Christensen was trying to come out of the zone. He got tripped up again, kind of incidental contact, but if it happens, it happens, and especially if it really deters a goal-scoring opportunity or gains an advantage for the opposition. Giants attacking left wing, sort of. Silver tip zone, cross ice to an open canic leaper. Snapshot save made by Wolf. No rebound, and nothing but a whistle here with 6.29 to go in period one. And it remains one nothing. Silver Tips. Your place for Tips Hockey and Everett's home for greatest classic hits is KRKO. Catch the goals, saves, and rock and roll sound for work, home, and the car. KRKO is Everett's greatest hits, sports, and more. I think you saw there uh, sort of the uh, price prospect uh, that has an A rating in the central scouting uh, Part of what makes him such a good player, really good vision. He skated that one over the line. He had some options. It was really tight quarters, though, all around him. Kind of six players in around the left faceoff circle. And instead, he fired it to an open wing where Canik Leaper was rushing onto it. That takes good vision. It was good play. 6.25 left. Longo drives it deep into the tip zone. Blocker side corner of Wolf. Returned by Seeley up the wing. Right side, Kindop. And as center it goes. Sort of. Resetting for Canik Leeper. Capitals draft pick from two summers ago and now dropping Sordiff. Weaves his way through and picked off. Gage Gonsalves pokes it back into the giant zone. Recovering Longo with six minutes left here in period one. It's one nothing Silver Tips. And driven back in by Cole Shepard. Behind the Silver Tip net, Seeley. Up the right side, Gianni Fairbrother launching one ahead for Gurney. And the giant line knocked down. Gurney was there, fed across ice, and Celia drive from 60 feet, save made by Tendek. Rebound to the right corner. 
And now Price tied up by Horning. It's sent back down to the line for Hendren, but offside are the silver tips. And a whistle now with 534 to go in the first period. Yeah, Tips trying to go up the near side wall here, back to the points. Hendren had just gotten onto the ice to start his shift. And with the silver tips at the uh, bench farthest from their zone, their offensive zone right now, it, Hendren was trying his best he could to get there, tried to sell it as well. Uh, but the line's been right there saying that puck had exited the zone. Tips at Berezowski, Zellweger, and Sutter. Berezowski took the face off, won it, and sent back in by Dylan Anderson. For the Giants, Seth Buffaro, trapped by Zellweger and Berezowski, but worked it around. And now leaves from the right, goes cross ice. And flushed back to center ice now by Connor Horning. 5.13 to go here in the first. Buffaro resets. Left side Horning shoots a long toss. Left wing will stop. Check into the zone. Snap shot. And a save made by Wolf. Stop that one. Five hole. And a whistle now with five minutes and four seconds left in period one. Wolf has now stopped seven shots this evening. Yeah, gave it to him. Made it look like it was there. Then shut the door really quickly. Calmly stopped himself right before. He got to that goal line, too. Looked well in control there. Might have looked like an opportunity for the Giants, but Dustin Wolf had it the whole way. Nice, comfortable save for the Silver Chip Netminder. First round draft pick, that's Zach Ostopchuk. So a lot of mileage that he's got left to take advantage of. Already four points in 29 games out of St. Albert, Alberta. 5.02 left off the draw and just shot wide by Vostika. Rebound kept in for Zuso against the backboards worked on by Wiley. Walks out right side. And now forcing his way behind the net, centering attempt to flex off of traffic. Loose puck jumping in his kind up. Found Wiley ahead to Fonstad skating out. Fonstad shuffles it back in. Giants whip it away, taken right back. Kind up, centering attempt, missing on Salvis. Loose puck kept in Christensen. From the line, wheels one around to the right side. To the near boards, Fonstad, and knocked over as giving him the forearm shiver, Michael Vostika. Tips keep it in. Here's Kindop in the slot. Shoots missing it. Loose puck now for Gonsalves, who fed him for that last big scoring opportunity. Gonsalves tied up, leaving it for Kindop left boards, sends it in behind. Gonsalves centers, fans on his pass. Now side of the right circle, looking for Lee. Gonsalves wiped out and a penalty against the Giants. Cross checking the call, 4.02 left, and the tips will go to the man advantage. Yeah, I think that was a, a second time coming there on that shift earlier. Gonsalves on the opposite side boards had kind of taken a similar shot right to the back from Tristan Nielsen, I think, over there. This time it was Buffaro getting him on the near side boards right at the end of his shift, too, for Gonsalves. He did some good work there. He fought hard on the far side. He helped set up Kindop's chance from the high slot as well that he just missed the net on and, and then eventually drew that penalty. It will be the second unit that starts here because uh, other guys have just got off the ice. Tips are fifth in the league in the power play. Now 23%. They're looking for their first power play goal in four games. Up 1-0, they win the faceoff, and Seeley. Left side for Zellweger, snapshot to flex over right side, and Fairbrother fans on it. He had a half open net for the backhander. Gannick Leeper at far boards, taken away now by Zellweger. Low to high for Seeley. Cross ice, right point, Fairbrother to the top for Seeley. Over to Zellweger, left circle. Has to play the hop over left corner, Berezowski. Left point, Zellweger, cross ice, Fairbrother to the top for Seeley, to Fairbrother, one-timer, and blocked by Canick Leeper. He's shaken up. Loose puck to the Giants, couldn't clear. Up by Seeley, teed one up, knocked down. Back now to Fairbrother. Center point feed for Seeley. Left circle, Zellweger across to Fairbrother, he scores! It's a power play goal for Gianni Fairbrother. Three minutes, 14 seconds remaining in period one. A one-timer right point for his fifth goal this season. It's 2-0 Silver Tips. Well, that was his second crack at the one-timer on the power play. First time he caught Kenneth Leeper right between the shoulder blades. That really looks like it stung. He went down to a knee, stayed out there, though. And so did Fairbrother, and eventually got a return feed. This one stayed on ice level, hard and low, 
and past the left pad of David Tendek. So the Silver Tips pick up their first power play goal and four opportunities as far as games. One of one so far tonight. 301 to go in the first. Gianni Fairbrother. It's a man advantage goal to make it 2 0. Olin Zellweger picks up the assist. That's his first since October 16th. Ronan Seeley also gets a helper, so three defensemen in on that power play goal. Tips attack now down the right side, ginned up into the offensive end. Sends it around now, opposite boards, and sort of pinned by Cole Fonstad. 2.31 to go. In the slot is Price. Lost the puck as he was locked up by Seth Bafaro. The center ice is horning the X with Curran Bronco. Sends it back in. Wolf is there and slingshots it up the left wing. Mitchell into the giant zone. Shakes off one. Knocked down. Cleared by Canick Leeper. Up a long right side for Zusto. And a centering attempt bumped away in the slot of Nielsen. Right side shoots one on. Save main. Rebound Patrician. Save Wolf. Rebound. They score. The Giants tucked it in. And then a late shot after the whistle. You can't blame the Silver Tips for taking umbrage at it. That looked like Trevor Longo who delivered that hit. And against a defenseless Silver Tip, about a couple of seconds after the whistle and the goal. So besides the goal, which will count, Penalties as well coming up here. Conrad Mitchell already shuffled off, and a look at it. It was Justin Gurney trying to wipe out his man and take the body, and then Longo came in and shoved Gurney after that, which then began the whole melee. Mitchell determined the most involved here for the Silver Tips. He'll take a seat. And Longo will sit down as well for Vancouver. I think additional penalties coming up here, so this will be a Silver Tip power play. And after a big goal that Vancouver scores, give them credit. Not a penalty that Michael Dick was interested in seeing. But things have now been evened up upon further review to four on four. So after all of that, a couple of penalties just based on a emotional boil. And as 2-1 tips up on Vancouver, 155 remaining here in period one. And here's the call of the goal. Tristan Nielsen at 17.59. And driving the net now right side, Milos Roman. Save is made by Wolf. And he hangs on now with one minute and 45 seconds left here in period one. So, Giants not quitting after the Silver Tips building a 2 nothing lead. And giving Vancouver for as rough and choppy of a season as they've gone through a Chance to fold up tense here. They get a big goal here to get right back into the thick of things. Tyler Prezuso gets credit, 17-59 in. Already three goals in two games with Vancouver. Tips control in the offensive zone. Berezowski into the slot. Snapshot blocked by Nielsen. Loose puck now right side for Wiley. Lays one in front and knocked down by Connor Horning. 1.17 to go here in the first. Tips on top of Vancouver, 2-1. to one. Here comes Nielsen weaving his way through center. To the right side, but he's offside now. And 70 seconds remain in period one. And 109 remains on the four-on-four four skating situation. Progressive Wellness Center is the official chiropractor of the Everest Silver Tips. Call 425-355-5000 today to schedule an appointment. Tips go Gonsalves, Kindop, Fairbrother, and Seeley. And for the Giants, Roman out there with Brown, Buffaro, and Sordiff. A little more open ice here at four on four to encourage playmaking and speed. We're inside a minute left here in period one. Two on Silver Tips. 
And a giant break out for Faro. Bumps it right past Seeley, defending into the zone, but Seeley a great play to neutralize him. Silver tips counter. Right wing Gonsalves, Vancouver zone. Lost the puck and pitched back out by Brown. Along for Sordiff, left wing and across the silver tip line. Laid one of the corner, 34 seconds left. And out of the scrum, tips control. Gonsalves looking for Seeley. Spun around by Sordiff. And coming now is Roman. Tips take it right back and Fairbrother given away. Left circle, Sordiff, a sharp angle bid. Save is made by Wolf. Rebound of the far corner, Gonsalves. Long toss left wing, overshot Kindop, that goes for icing. And a whistle now with 10.7 to go here in period number one. It's 2-1 in favor of the Silver Tips. Coming up between periods one and two, Zoran Radchik, Silver Tips COO, will join us. As far as the recount of Teddy Bear Toss night and the buildup of this event, that plus our out-of-town scores and our highlights as well. Face off left circle, one with the Giants, and Prezuso hustling to the right boards, sends one to the corner. Nielsen with four seconds left. Hangs on to it, spins off Fairbrother, and out of his forehand had no look at the clock, and I'm not sure he was aware as time expires. Play underway, Giants control from center, brought in right wing by Sordiff. Into the corner for Cole Shepard, around to Roman, left side, long go his shot, blocked by Kindop. Against the boards, Kindop pokes to center. Hustling right wing, giant zone. And swept away by Buffaro. All in the captain here for Vancouver. And having to go back and fetch. And being worked on by Fonstad backboards. Cole Shepard takes over. Jams it right side off the glass. Christensen couldn't handle. Vancouver forcing one through the neutral zone. And sort of given right back to Wiley. Slams this one right glass. Salonda Berezowski. Dropped it for butt, chipped away, and clear back out by Sordiff. On a counterattack, left wing Roman to Canik Leeper in the slot, shot hit the post. Rebound to flex all the way toward the blue line. Alex Canik Leeper just missed. Tips counter left wing, Dawson butt in across the line, centering attempt. Looking Berezowski, knocked down by Canik Leeper. 18.55 remaining in the second period, tips up 2-1, to one, but Vancouver is coming in strong right now to begin this frame. And off a dump, and Vostica couldn't get there. Fairbrother right side for Butt. Relays for Price. And deflects it back into the Vancouver zone. Lee and Canik Leeper pursue. Giants control. Canik Leeper clears. Back to the silver tip line. Fairbrother resets for Hendren. Lee toss right wing off of Price and deflecting back behind the giant net. Canik Leeper to head for Nielsen. Bumped away. Price takes over. Left circle for Gurney. Hangs on. Centering attempt. Knocked away by Canik Leeper. Prezuso near boards. Taken away. Mitchell up high to Hendren. Tees one up and blocked by the Giants Horning. Here's Gurney looking cross ice. Picked away. Canik Leeper clears. Off Prezuso to the red line and he'll pitch it back in now with 17.58 to go in the second. Well, if Gurney gets a little bit more on that pass, he's got Gonzalez coming off the bench into an open wing. Fairbrother dumps it down. And being in the icing call was Jacob Gendron, barely against Conrad Mitchell. Heavy collision against the backboards now. And a whistle was 17.49 to go here in period two. And again, it's 2-1 Silvertips. Something about that spot on the ice right there, Mike, behind that goal and involving Conrad Mitchell. Uh, uh, honest effort there from uh, Conrad to get down there and try and beat that icing. He almost had it. Maybe one more stride, he might have beat it, but... Uh, everybody was fine. That was just an honest race to the puck there, and glad to see the cooler heads prevailed. Proceed at your own risk. Should be a sign back there, it almost seems like. Right. Face off back in the silver tip zone to the left of Wolf, and won by the silver tips. Fairbrother can't clear. Played by Cancelli behind the net. Turned away by Gonsalves. Tips control right side. Gurney bumping one ahead and kept in by the Giants. Cancelay to Patrician, left corner, sealed up by Fairbrother. Cycles Cancelay off the right corner. Hands off Jackson Shepard, broken up, left circle. Tips and Fairbrother control. Bumps one ahead, here comes Gurney. Full head of steam to the net, and just slides it wide. Loose puck, Gendron up the left wing. Cleared down by Jackson Shepard. No icing call coming, Ronan Seeley takes over. On a two-assist game, Seeley left side. 
Back ends one to center, picked away by Canick Leaper, Giants counter. Into the offensive zone, left side Cole Shepard. Around to the right circle, hits the brakes, up against Seeley. Sweeps across ice, Canick Leaper, a shot save made by Wolf. Rebound to the far corner. Kendop jumping in, tip scan clear. Canick Leaper to the blue line, picked away. Tip scouter, here comes Kendop. Right wing Giants zone. Angle by Canick Leaper, into the corner. And sort of pokes it to the near wing. Cole Shepard now looking opposite corner, trying to get a clear, kept in by the tips, and Fonstad. 16.28 to go here in period two. Puck still tied up, freed by Cole Shepard. The center is sort of. Leads off left wing, bump for Buffaro. Into the offensive end, drop for Roman. Inside the line now, left side, his shot blocked by traffic. Rebound for Vasica, fires, and blocked by Wiley. Puck around now to the right side. Nielsen now jumping in, blocked by Fonstad, and cleared back out by Berezowski. Giants take over, and Vostika is offside left wing. And we have 15.59 to go here in period two. It remains a 2-1 Silver Tips lead. El Pariso Mexican Grill is open late after the game. Catch happy hour daily, 3-6, to 9 to close, and the tastiest Mexican cuisine in Silver Tip country. El Pariso with locations in downtown Everett, Snohomish, and Silver Lake. Yeah, you'd have to say here to start this uh, second period, the Silver Tips have been issued a little bit of an awar a warning uh, there was, of course, a, a ringing of a crossbar early in this period, but the Giants look very strong. They're a tough team to get off the puck, and right now they're kind of pushing the tips around. Right side, Prezuso snaps shot right into the crest of Dustin Wolf, and he hangs on now with 15.44 to go here in period number two. Dustin Wolf said to depart for Team USA this weekend. Likely this is his last time in downtown ever before suiting up in red white and blue along with him spencer knight for the panthers draft pick team usa is pretty strong in net for the world juniors yeah probably the likely candidate but you never know 15 40 left here in the second two one silver tips on vancouver here in the second matchup this season jay christensen in the silver tip home debut whl player of the week gives away now left side and that's sent wide by ostopchuk this puck right boards and plumber cross ice out of the far corner tips and sutter take over for christensen and gonsalves in to help chips at right boards and down tanner brown hustled now by aiden sutter up the far wing and plumber given right back here's zellweger to gonsalves in the slot chips it just wide out of the right corner zellweger feeds it low to high a shot by hendren deflects wide off of traffic Loose puck in behind for Zellweger. Now trying to shake off one, leaving it for Price. Skating over left corner. Up against Longo. Nearby is Ostopchuk. In for the silver tips is Gurney. Right corner for Hendren, pinching in. Sent back now to the blue line. Mitchell shot block. Second attempt fires. Blocker save made by Tendek. Mitchell takes over. Back end knocked away. Loose puck. Mitchell shoots. Save made again. Rebound. Mitchell in front. Save made. Tip jam away. No dice. Sent back up high. Hendren shoots. Missing it. Rebound for Gurney. Off the back skate of Tendek. Makes a save and covers up. 14-20 left in the second period. The tips funneling from all angles. The 10 deck comes up with the saves. It stays 2 1 Silver Tips. That was terrific work there. Great shift by the Silver Tips and really started with Owen Zellweger back behind the net, doing some good work on those end boards there, creating a chance. Gurney, Price, Mitchell ended up coming on the ice as well. And they really worked the puck around well. Conrad Mitchell with a couple of cracks at it from that right wing circle. Couple of good saves from Tendek, but great sign there that that group was able to generate some offense. Face off right circle, Vancouver zone, and it's won by the Giants. Force behind the net and Canick Leaper. Off the right boards, bump to center, Nielsen and Prezuso, and looking cross ice out of the reach of Vostika. Tips counter and Fonstad gives away, but bump right back to the silver tip defense. Anderson ahead to Fonstad. Chipped into the offensive zone. Gonsalves over skates. Giants take over. Prezuso, cross ice, Bosni cut, checked by Anderson, left boards, and Gonsalves takes it away. Around now to the left side, Fonstadt, clear to center, tumbling back into the Vancouver zone, and the Silver Tips change up. Loose puck now for Buffaro, 
driven back into the silver tip zone and behind the net taken by Gianni Fairbrother long toss right wing knocked down tips take it back Brendan Lee into the offensive end pass off the mark for Berezowski right side into the corner it goes but battling Roman Giants take possession as Roman feeds Longo off the right boards lead feed to center ice negated by Wiley and reverse back into the Vancouver zone 13 10 to play here second period 2 1 silver tips Giants attack to center ice and sort of a chip and chase locker side corner of Wolf he stays put Seeley to Wiley off of butt changing now with Jalen Price and Butt will send it in Price hustles right circle but taken away by Canic Leeper tips change up Canic Leeper and set man to center up the left wing now it is Cole Shepard into the offensive zone but taken away by Wiley good and clear sort of in the slot twist to his right now to the circle took the shot save is made by Wolf rebound kept in and Horning look to the corner and swept by Shepard right corner now for Patricia leaving it for Cancelay around now left side for Horning back pedals and chipped off the boards now left circle it is sent cross ice by Cancelay and a shot by Bafaro missed the net loose puck to center ice Horning takes over with 12-11 to go in the second, and the Giants shoot it back in for a change. Wolf slows it down. Play by Jackson Shepard in behind the net. Loose puck, cancel a left corner. Off now for Jackson Shepard, right side. Out of the corner, back for Bafaro. His point shot knocked down by traffic. Loose puck picked up, and the silver tips and Aiden Sutter get the clear. Force back into the Giants zone now. Shots are just 14-11 in favor of Vancouver. Left wing Jackson Shepard, a snap shot, save is made. Wolf steers a rebound up and out. And we have now eight minutes and 20 seconds gone by in the second. And it's 2-1 Silvertips. Yeah, I mentioned Zellweger's name last time he was on the ice. Kind of started a really good shift there for the Silvertips. I mean, he's playing out of position, playing up front, uh, and logging some good minutes. I, I thought he's been very capable, and he delivered again. Uh, uh, the Silvertips exited the zone, and... Uh, Longo, defenseman for Vancouver, was trying to play the puck at center ice, and Zellweger, maybe just natural defenseman instincts, took over. He just played the body, delivered a really good hit out there in the neutral zone. Tips control now with Seeley, Fonstad, Christensen, Kindop, and Gonsalves. Here comes Christensen, right wing, but it's offside, silver tips. And a whistle now with eight and a half gone by here in period number two. Jake Christensen began the season red hot, eight points, three games. He's five games now to surpass Cole McDonald in the Silver Tips all-time list for defensemen. Yeah, and, and I mean, what an impact. I mean, I think you knew when he was coming back to the team he was going to make an impact, but those first three games were absolutely off the charts for what he was able to do putting up numbers on the score sheet. A little more than Dennis Williams shared out of the Everett Harrell as a long toss all the way back into the Silver Tip zone. Save is made by Wolf and nearly sprung Tristan Nielsen for a breakaway and we have 11 19 left I think the space off is going to come all the way back into the Vancouver zone and Nielsen was trying to skate right on the edge right in the neutral zone side of the up the blue line and the long pass got deflected up into the air so he knew it was up and he knew it was going to be in the Everett zone he just missed time when he got in to the Everett zone face off right circle won by Vancouver tips out of control early it's become a tight one. 2-1 Two, tips over the Giants. Perzuso drives it back in for Vancouver behind the net. Tips take over. Here comes Jake Christensen. To center ice now cruising right wing into the offensive zone. Christensen pulls up into the corner. Centering attempt to flex over left side. Lee takes it off the boards. Swept away by Sordiff. Up along the center ice for Cole Shepard. For the red line, he'll pitch it back in. Blocker side corner of Wolf. Shepard and Seeley collide. Tips taken away, and Christensen rims it left side for Brendan Lee. Along the center, here comes Butt on left wing into the offensive end. Snapshot save, rebound just out of the reach of Christensen. Tips hold it in. Christensen right side. Now into the slot, fires, missed the net. Rebound right side, Anderson. Teed one up, misfired again. Christensen dancing around, sort of. Now to the circle, took the shot, knocked down by traffic, and a loose puck, 10-deck will cover. 
10 minutes, 13 seconds left, second period. It stays 2-1 silver tips, but Jake Christensen, plenty of poise on that shift. Uh, yeah, sitting there at the blue line with a giant forward coming at him. I think it was sort of, and most defensemen would panic or just... You know, make the safe play of just rimming it along the boards, trying to get it back behind the net. But he, confidence in himself, sidesteps sort of, dangles through another player, and then his shot just got blocked. The last layer of defense there before it made it to 10 deck. That's the effect that he's had playing in Stockton to begin the season. Dennis Williams said so. You can tell he's been playing with bigger, stronger players. That builds his poise and confidence. 2-1 silver tips as the puck moved to the right corner. Giant zone. And recovered and cleared back out now by Jackson Shepard. For the tips, Anderson out of the zone. Sky is this to center. And Longo spun around by Gonsalves. Loose glove now lays right back at the red line. Off a dump in. Tips take it back. Fair brother, right side for Anderson. Leads off right wing. Kindop giant zone. Snapshot too high. Rebound off glass. Kept in by Mitchell. Bumped off Canick. Leaper behind the net. And Price pursues. Puck tied up, backboards, Giants free it. And Longo ahead to center. 9.25 to go here in the second. Again, the silver tips up on Vancouver, 2-1. Canik Leaper now leaving it left side for Longo. North Vancouver, BC native, so playing right back in front of friends and family. Loose puck at center ice, Conrad Mitchell will anchor it back into the Giants zone. Canik Leaper the captain. Around now to the right for Prezuso. Relays the center. Left wing feed for Nielsen into the offensive end. Hits the brakes to the hash marks. And chased by Wiley as he pitches this one to the corner. Price trying to work off Tyler Prezuso. 8.48 to go, period two. Wiley jumping into the battle. Oh, stop Chuck now off the giant bench in place of Nielsen. As this puck is still tied up along the kick play. The officials say, keep it going. Tips do so. Wiley moves in behind, but taken away. It was top chucked down to the right boards and sent back to the right point. But Farrow's shot save made by Wolf. Rebound behind him. Wolf falls down trying to cover and finally gets a whistle. Tempers now flare at the net. And it looks like Jalen Price and Justin Lees want to drop him. But it appears cooler heads eventually will prevail after a couple of players become untangled and the silver tips lead vancouver 2-1 we'll come back in a bit in the second period and this is town granted ever silver tips hockey on krko everest greatest hits sports and more we're here the silver tips and giants i mean this is a very hard fought battle this is an entertaining hockey game so far this evening and a little bit of open ice now see what the skill players can do with it tips have their brother fonstad christensen and gonsalves as a lead toss left wing christensen gains center Pass the red, brings it into the offensive end of the right wing, Gonsalves to Fairbrother, to Gonsalves right side, hangs on, and jammed away as it was bumped off the stick by Justin Sordiff. Giants counter as Sordiff. Along through center, gained the red, brings it in on left wing, past Fonstad. His shot jammed away by the silver tips. Roman takes over, look to Sordiff. Tips intercept Fairbrother ahead for Gonsalves. Right wing brings it into the Giants zone, dropping it for Fairbrother. His shot bumped off of traffic. Loose puck, Fairbrother sends it onto the line. Here's Christensen. Over to his left. Hangs onto the circle with control to the front of the net and knocked away. Loose puck and just out of the reach of Bryce Kindoff. Sort of for Vancouver. Clears right back to Christensen. Plays one on right wing. Kindoff into the Vancouver zone, dropping it for Wiley. Fed one in front, knocked away. Lewis Puck, Berezowski, rims it low to high for Seeley off the bench. His shot toward the net, misfired. Off the backboards, a puck taken by Connor Horning. Under seven to go in the second period, Giants clear. 31 seconds left on four on four time. Largely controlled by the Silver Tips. They lead 2-1. Here comes Seeley, on through center. Lost possession. Off a poke by Nielsen. Tips for gain as Kindop trying to send it back as Cotton Seeley skates. And a loose puck at the red line eventually worked away by Nielsen. Leading point getter on Vancouver. 
Trying to wind up out of the zone zone. Carries through center. A beat on left wing Longo. Into the silver tip zone and played a five on five as Longo shoots a miss the net. Loose puck now to the right side. Canick Leeper. A beat in behind. Poked away by Seeley. 6.15 to go here in the second period. 2-1 silver tips. Wiley ahead to Fonstadt. Into the offensive end. Fonstadt drop pass for Mitchell. Bumped off his skate. Giants counter. Right wing for Zuso. Into the silver tip zone. Pulls up side of the circle. Bed one now in front. And just out of the reach of Patricia. Loose puck far boards. Gonsalves ahead for button clear. Right wing Fonstadt. Into the Vancouver zone. Pulls up with a circle. Trying to draw traffic. Sends across ice. Fairbrother over left side. Price shot. Missed the net. Loose puck right side. Anderson. The feed in behind for Dawson Butt. And given away to the Giants. And Patricia clears ahead. Relay left wing now for Jackson Shepard. 5.27 to go in the second period. 2-1 silver tips on Vancouver. A couple of strong shifts. The tips have patched together including four on four time and they change up now giants have the puck and to the red line it's driven back in by tanner brown around to the right castle and crunched by gianni fairbrother against the glass castle takes over in the right corner sends it low to high but far a one-timer and just dribbling wide For this puck far corner 452 to go Roman sends it back, left circle, poked away and cleared back down by Gurney. To the giant net, Tendek lets it go, call is icing, and we have 443 to go in the second. Again, the silver tips lead Vancouver 2-1. Yeah, it's just uh, not a lot of space out there, not a lot of uh, a movement, a freedom of movement for this, the silver tips. They're having a hard time generating a little bit of offense. They've been really, really close. There's been some fine individual play. Christensen, of course, comes to mind. Uh, Fonstad with a nice setup there last time he entered the zone, but uh, it's been really tough sledding against this Giants team. Tips go Jalen Price on this face off against Milos Roman. Where besides Gonsalves, it's been reported it's going to be a face off committee. Buck one to Anderson, sky that one out of play, and I think that might be delay of game on the Silver Tips. 439 to go in the second, and indeed Anderson will take a seat. Yeah, not much of a defense mounted by the silver tips to try and justify that. Anderson hung his head, knew it, obviously didn't do it intentionally, trying to just clear it off the glass and out of the zone off that faceoff win there. There were some tired bodies coming off the heels of the icing, so just knew that needed to get the puck out of the zone and unfortunately lifted it up over the glass. And so now the silver tips will have to kill off their first or kill off a penalty here. It's it is Vancouver's first man advantage. One of two against the Tips in the first matchup. And they are right now next to last in the league. As they set up for Zuso, a pass missed fire by Nielsen, rolls the center ice. A lot of talent the Giants still contain right now, which is so befuddling as far as their numbers. But Kindop chops this one from center ice out of play. And we have 4.22 to go in the second. Yeah, especially when you consider... You know, Bowen Byram and what he's capable of out there quarterbacking a power play. I realize he's not here in, tonight, but he has logged 27 games for this team. And when the penalty kill is that bad, he, you know, he's been in there for a lot of them. So it's definitely a surprise. Tips in the penalty kill seven best in the entire WHL at 82%. And a face-off at center controlled by Vancouver. And Roman now will roll it back into his own zone for Nielsen. Longo is out there with Prezuso, Sordiff, and Roman. And Longo through center will drop for Nielsen. Slingshots his way through center. Brings it into the zone. Roman left side to Longo. Right point Sordiff to the top for Longo. Looks to his right. Slides it over. Here's Sordiff. Onto the line, Longo. Left side, Nielsen. Set one back at center point. Longo one-timer. Knocked down and cleared all the way by Bryce Kindock. Tip change up. Berezowski, but Wiley. And now Jay Christensen. 57 seconds to go on the Vancouver man advantage. Tips up 2 1 for Zuso. A feed over left wing Nielsen. Into the zone drop for Roman. Held the line and now picked off by Butt. Trying to force one ahead and got the clear. And now Butt trying to sky this one all the way down. He does. 
More change coming up here. I think Butt, that was stuck in his glove for a little bit there. Long toss ahead. Here comes Horning. Open lane right side. Shoot, save, rebound. Save is made by Wolf. Dustin Wolf, big save on a glove side bid by Connor Horning. They clear it back down again. He might have made two there. Got the left pad down, and then the follow-up, he was ready for it. Giants control Canik Leaper to head to Horning. He'll chip back into the right corner and cancel away. Knocked away by Christensen. And a loose puck. Giants take over. Cole Shepard into the slot now. Feed left side. Skipped off of his man Vostika. Bumped to back off of Cole Shepard to the line for Canik Leaper. Left side Vostika centering Shepard. His shot blocked by Wyatt Wiley. Back to five aside with 2.31 to go. Giants will keep it into the zone. And now Vostika spins off a pressure left side. Met back to Horning at the line. Chipped over left boards. Tips take over. Anderson clears. Missing Dawson Butt. That sail through for an icing call. And we have 2.17 to go here in period two. It remains a 2-1 lead in favor of the Silver Tips. Veteran owned Dreadnought Brewing in Monroe. Proud to sponsor the Silver Tips. Military honoree of the game. A tribute to local active. And retired military personnel on the tips are at home every Friday and Saturday. Submit your nominee at EverettSilverTips.com. 217 left here in the first period. 2-1 Silver Tips. And the shot lead right now. 17-13 Vancouver. Tips control. Wiley clears up the right. Anderson trying to outmuscle the faro. Gain possession and pitch this one to the corner, but that went too high and out of play it goes. And we have 207 to go here in period two. And the silver tip still on top. 2-1 on the Vancouver Giants. Intermission number two will bring the out-of-town scores and highlights. As well, an answer to our Twitter poll question, your feedback, your teddy bear toss, ammo of choice. And before that, Justin Morrison will be downstairs with Silver Tips coach Louis Mass. Base off right circle. Vancouver zone Giants win it. On the breakout now, right wing will stop Chuck Silver Tip zone. Low backhander turned away by Wolf's pad. Rebound to the far corner, 155 to go. Tips and Hendren take over. Left boards a feed for Conrad Mitchell, kept in. Bafaro shot missed the net. Wolf comes out to play it to the near side. Tips take over. Price in the breakout. Leads it right wing, Fairbrother. Chip back in. Returned by Longo, broken up. And now the Giants take over as. Patrician plays it near boards. Oh, stop shot got the clear. Hustling ahead, Jackson Shepard into the offensive end of the right corner. His centering attempt knocked away by Wiley. Shepard takes over again behind the net. Angles it back, low to high, and Horning bumps it back behind the silver tips gauge. This one to Patrician, wraparound bid knocked away. Lewis Buck now left circle for Zuso. 113 to go. On a feed and behind, chips the over right side. And Pazuso feeds it low to high. Nielsen jammed away. Gonsalves off the glass, got the clear. And back into the Giants zone it goes. Under a minute left in period two. Left side Horning. Given away to Gonsalves. Set one cross ice. Fostad on net. Shoot state made by Tendek. Rebound to the right and Wiley. Jammed away by Prezuzzo. Giants take off. On the rush, Prezuzzo left wing. Fed across ice. Out of the reach of Nielsen. Tips broke that up. Out of play it goes. And a clutch defensive play as they back-checked and broke up the attack off the rush. And we have 42.4 seconds left. In period two, it remains a 2-1 to one Silver Tips advantage. Tough break back the other way. And Fonstad trying to go high blocker on 10 deck. He takes up a lot of space in that at 6'2". Based off one of the Giants, Bafaro one-timer Fandon. Out of the right corner taken by Wyatt Wiley. To Berezowski trying to relay one ahead. Barely got center ice. And now with 29 seconds left, Dawson Butt sends it back in. Berezowski to the right corner picks up. Now cycling for Lee. Guarded by Bafaro. Will look for Butt into the right corner. And pinned by Longo. Brendan Lee also goes to work. Tips also sneak one change in, getting on Salvas off bench. Bafaro takes over, Giants break. The headman's right wing Roman into the offensive zone. Delay penalty coming up and a shot by Sordiff missed the net. And with five seconds left, a whistle blows and it looks like 
An elbowing call coming up on the silver tips, and Dawson Butt will take a seat. And this happened off the rush with Milos Roman breaking down the right side. And with the puck fed of the slot, sort of tried to blast one on net, which had the silver tips fill in the house. And it occurred about a few seconds after the infraction occurred. So a tough turn of events here for the silver tips. And trying to keep this one goal lead intact. It's Vancouver's second power play coming up. 5.7 to go. Face off. Tips win it left side of Vancouver. Got it back and slid one of the net, but knocked away right side. But Farrell shot saved made by Wolf off the right path. And right at the horn. And the Silver Tips keep their 2-1 to one lead intact. Vancouver will have 155 of a man advantage coming up in period number three. Periods with a 2-1 to one lead. And despite last night's late hiccup, they have been very good in the third period. Matter of fact, strongest single differential out of any three periods at plus 13. Vancouver is plus two in the third, in case you're wondering. So a power play for the Giants with 1.44 to go on it. Left side, Nielsen fed one back up high. Here's Longo fires and blocked by Fonstad. Big block to fill the shot lane on Trevor Longo. Buck deflecting in behind the silver tip net. 128 left in the man advantage here for Vancouver. Their second this evening. Kendop trying to dig it free. Parker Hendren trying to dig it free. Tips control. Here comes Fonstad to center ice. Tips could have had numbers, but they were out of gas. So Fonstad pitches one back into the changes coming now. Yeah, I think that's really smart. 40 seconds in, working hard behind your own net. You did the job. You got the puck out. Get it down and get uh, get some new bodies out there. Prezuso to sort of right side, cross ice feed, cut off by Gage Gonsalves, and clear the length again. 57 seconds left on power play time for Vancouver and sort of ahead for Cole Shepard into the zone. Low snap shot save made by Wolf and tracks the rebound right into his glove. And we have now 18.54 to go here in period three. It remains a two to one silver tips lead. Yeah, nice job by Wolf to secure that one hold on. You know, we talk sometimes about power plays at the start of the uh, period and a fresh sheet of ice and it always helps, I think, with the playmaking, but you also look at what goaltenders have to deal with. Right now, Justin Wolf is still skating back and forth over his blue paint, trying to kind of create some uh, some snow there, some powder, so that he's not sliding all around. And that burst by Nielsen, Mike, right off the bat, that was dangerous. Vancouver wins the faceoff. Canik Leeper at left point. Skates down the boards against Fonstad, and the Giants bump it back, but out of the reach of Vostika. The center it goes. He's chased by Cole Fonstad back into the Giants zone. And now Vostika leaving it for Horning. Off the right wing now for Canik Leeper. Chip and chase Silver Tib zone. He's hit by Fairbrother. Loose puck far corner and cleared all the way back down by Cole Fonstad. Zendek. Try to lead toss right wing. The Giants weren't ready for it. That sails down. It's icing. So an unforced error and committed 200 feet away from the silver tip net. 16 seconds are left now on the Vancouver man advantage. Yeah, <laughs> definitely unforced. And Tendek obviously doing what we've seen. Dustin Wolf is an expert at it. He gets out, he plays the puck, he finds somebody, tries to catch the other team in the middle of a change. But you got to let your guys get out of the zone uh, or else it's going to be offside. And Tendek did not do that, and pretty blatant icing. Eight seconds left here until Dawson Butt is out of the box. Giants to center, and Horning drives it in from centerette. Loose puck over now, left side. Wiley leaving it to Ronan Seeley. Pitch far boards to center, it goes. Here comes Dawson Butt ahead for Berezowski. Into the zone, right wing feed, Gonsalves. Snapshot, miss the net. Rebound of the far boards, and Cancela clears. Tips reset, Mitchell to Seeley. Back from the line. Drives this one all the way back down. Gurney a check now against the backboards up on Connor Horning. Giants take over. Jackson Shepard got the clear and hustling along now. Cole Shepard left wing. And knocked away by Jalen Price. Cole Shepard takes over. 17.25 to go. Price the check. Buck now tied up against the kick plate. And fed back up high. Seth Bafaro turned away by Justin Gurney. The center it goes, tips reroute it. And Hendra now for Jake Christensen with 17.08 to go here in period three. 
Silver tips on top of Vancouver, two to one. And left side, Fonstadt pitches one back into the Vancouver zone. Bafaro to Longo, trying to shake off Kindop. Bafaro leads toss right wing, skips off Jackson. Shepard tips take, tips take over from their own line. And now Gonsalves tied up right by the penalty benches. This one driven back in now by Evan Patrician. Tips again take over. Dylan Anderson scoots to his right with 16.32 to go. Lead feet on right wing and Kindoff will sail it behind the Vancouver net. Ten net the goalie gave it away. And Gonsalves low to higher. Spare brother a one-timer missed the net. And now kept in by Anderson. On a feed and back. And Scannick Leeper up for Justin Sordiff at center ice. To the right wing, Roman with speed, silver tip zone, dropping it for Sordiff. Low to high pass, Canick Leeper across Bafaro. His shot saved made by Wolf. Rebound for Sordiff. Out of the line for Canick Leeper. Return to Sordiff right corner. Back to Roman in front and just out of the reach of Vostika. Left side, Canick Leeper centering Sordiff. Chip back down to the line, Canick Leeper. Right side, Roman in front, and knocked away by Gianni Fairbrother. Out of play, that one goes, and we have 15.44 to go in period three. Still 2-1, Silvertips. Well, tips in their own end there with some good active sticks. They read the play twice in front of the net, where from the right wing circled, the Giants were trying to throw it across to the opposite side for a little backdoor play, but Gonzalez read it the first time, steered it to the corner, and then there was a lot of chaos, and I'm not sure the Silvertips really knew who their assignments were as the puck stayed in the zone, but Fairbrother there, as you said, got that last stick on it, read the play exactly the same way Gonzalez had, and got that one up into the netting. Here it's come the tips. Sealy left side. Sorry, Justin. Mafa Olin Zellweger. And back into the right corner, Vancouver zone. Berezowski worked on by Nielsen. And now Sutter taken down. The officials say no penalty. Zellweger left corner. Takes it in behind the net. Bet back for Wiley. One-timer save made by Tendek. And he covers up a 15-17 to go in period three. Yeah, the crowd not happy. Felt that Sutter was hauled down. The stick was right in there under the armpit where it's usually a hooking. Sometimes offensive players can keep it kind of trapped in there to make it look worse. But if the, st if the, if the stick is in there, and in this case it was definitely pulling Sutter down to the ice. That's where it can be frustrating. But to Sutter's credit, got back up, got right back in front of the net. That was a good good little job by the Silvertips to stay with the play. Worked it out for the one-timer. If there is any rebound there, there are two Silvertips waiting to pounce on it. Aiden Sutter has appeared now in five consecutive games. As we said, no relation to the Sutter family, but by the way, Ron Sutter is in the house here tonight on behalf of the Calgary Flames. 15.05 to go here in period three. 2-1 silver tips. Vancouver clears. Left wing sort of looking cross ice. Bafaro into the zone and tried to center as that one knocked down by Ronan Seeley. The tips and Wyatt Wiley take it back behind Dustin Wolf. Wiley's long toss left wing. Mitchell and across the line. Centering pass well behind Justin Gurney. Cleared by Longo up the right wing. Off Ostopchuk and down. And behind the silver tip, Net Lees looking in front for Ostopchuk. And now checked by Wiley. As a puck tied up right corner. Lees trying to send it back. Tips now take it away. To center is sent all the way. Back down now by Wyatt Wiley. 14-21 to go. Loose puck now fed over left side and back in the Giants. Ostopchuk into the offensive zone. Neutralized by Hendren. Force play now to the corner. Plummer now battling Hendren. Nearby Christensen jumping into the corner. Freeze the puck now left side for Gonsalves. Scoots on pass a check by Lees. Set one back to the giant line. Returned by the Giants and Canick Leapert and down. That goes for an icing call. And we have 13 minutes and 52 seconds remaining in regulation. Let IRG Physical and Hand Therapy help you to become your best self. The 40 locations and a family of brands across the Puget Sound. You never have to go far for exceptional care. Learn more at IRGPT.com. Now Silvertip's still in front here. And maybe a little frustration feeling like they've been hauled down a couple of times in the Vancouver end. But still playing really disciplined in their own end. Defensively, I think they've been strong. They've spent more time there than they probably want to, but 
They have not given up that many great A looks to Vancouver. Bafaro for Vancouver got the clear right side. Tibbs take it back. And Sealy left wing pitches one wide of the net. Dawson Buck comes in heavy hit on Longo. And a penalty coming up now with 13.39 to go in period three. Dawson Butt absolutely buried Trevor Longo. And Butt will take a seat for two minutes. Fans don't like it. The call is charging. And it's going to be a Vancouver man advantage coming up. I was shocked to, to see that an arm went up there. I, I, I was worried that we're going to call interference. And maybe the charging call is a is an excuse not to call the interference because Longo and Butt both were going towards the puck. Longo really chose not to play it, but it was sitting right at his feet. So Dawson Butt had every right to go in there and try and deliver a hit. I did not see the charge, but wasn't necessarily what I was looking for either. Usually as base criteria, it's asked, does a player leave his feet? I'm not sure if we saw it there. There was no replay available, but Vancouver sets up, tips up 2-1. Here's Longo center point, fires, save is made, rebound the Giants, jam the net, and Wolf able to hang on. Tempers again, Flair. As we get a whistle of 13.22 to go in period three. And 17 seconds off the clock on this Silver tip penalty kill. It remains a 2-1 tips advantage. Yeah, tips not happy that there were a few extra swipes after the whistle had gone. And Justin Wolf a little bit exposed there, sitting on his behind, covering it up with the puck right between his legs. But a couple of the Giants came in, and the defenseman became a part of that little dust up. So the faceoff will move outside of the zone, which is a little bit of a help here to the Silver Tips on the penalty kill. They have one shorthanded goal this season so far, and that went to Gianni Fairbrother. Kendop is out there with Gonsalves, Seeley, and Wiley. Kendop won the draw cleanly, and so must took it back into the Giants' zone and can reroute now for the silver tip defenseman. And Wiley, in his own zone, sends it down. 30 seconds off the clock and ticking now on this Vancouver man advantage. Longo takes over. Lead tosses center, Prezuso. Short relay, Nielsen over, Roman left boards. Bumped off Prezuso to Longo. Right point, sort of to Longo. Center point, his shot knocked down by traffic and cleared. Back down by Jackson Berezowski. Dendek halfway to the blue line. Let it go for Longo. Tips again, change up. Fairbrother, Fonstad, Wiley. Out now with Berezowski. It's Nielsen by one. Centers, Prezuso a shot and blocked by traffic. That deflects up and out. The Silver Tips clogging the lane on Tyler Prezuso, and we have 12.33 to go in period three. Another nice recovery from Christensen to come cover for Fairbrother, who had to react when Fonstad got beat at the blue line. Really crafty play there from Nielsen, gaining the line with speed, banking the puck to himself on the near side boards, but everybody in the Silver Tips did their job to get in the way and prevent that shot from making it in. Giants control Vostika, snapshot left point, save is made, deflecting wide. Kept in by Canik Leeper. Left point feed Vostika. Fires. Save made and a clean one by Wolf. And he hangs on with 12-19 to go in period three. Well, right now, Dustin Wolf coming up with some pretty big saves. He's been the more busy of the goaltenders. And this power play for Vancouver, which is not has not been very potent for them this year. Given their third crack here, two in the second period, one here in the third. You feel like you're playing with fire a little bit, but Wolf right now doing a terrific job. Tips win the face off, lab circle, and cleared all the way back down to the tail end of this Vancouver man advantage. 29 seconds left on it. Canik Leeper at Headman's is center, and hoarding from the red line will float it in. Right corner, Seeley. Trying to dig it free now. Wiley found Gonsalves, slams it right boards, and the center it goes. Canik Leeper takes over, Giants break in. He drops it right point, and Horning stood up by Gonsalves. A battle against the right boards. Cole Shepard trying to help out. Fed it down low and broken up by Seeley. Strong penalty kill effort. Out of the boxes, but as Vostika backs off of Kinda. Onto the line, fed it right point, and a shot there from Horning missing it. Bruce Puck to flex over left side with 11.25 remaining in period three. 2-1 Silver Tips, the lead on Vancouver. 
Dawson butt force this one to center ice. Canick Leeper takes over. Stick handles into the silver tip zone. Snapshot low. Save made by Wolf off the toe. And Wolf covers with 11-12 to go here in period three. All right. Another fine job by the penalty kill. And now the, the message needs to be to get back onto the front foot. The silver tips can't just sit back and kind of absorb all this. That would be, I think, a little bit too much of an ask right now. And Vancouver is playing pretty inspired. They're coming at the silver tips. So you can see the confidence is growing. The silver tips need to, while maintaining discipline, they need to give the Giants a reason to, you know, put the brakes on, be a little bit more cautious right now. And that's going to start with getting the puck out and down the ice. Draw one to Buffaro of Vancouver. Left corner trying to shake off Hendren. 11.04 to go. He feeds Ostopchuk behind the net. Low to high for Longo. Right boards feed Ostopchuk. To the back for Longo. His shot tumbles off of traffic and wide. Hustling Jackson Shepard right corner. Cycles Patrician. On a feed in behind. Ostopchuk. A long to a nearby Jackson Shepard. Walking out, hands off for Longo. Left side drives on that, took the shot, save is made. Rebound bump just wide. Longo right circle. Beat to the back for Jackson Shepard. Low shot, miss the net. Sharp rebound backboards and jam wide. Ostopchuk. Feeds it back onto the line. Longo to Ostopchuk and fed it back again, but nobody home in the center it goes. Justin Sordiff off the bench with speed through center, brings it in on right wing, shoots and a save made by Wolf. Rebound now to the left, kept in by Canick Leeper. The feed is sort of in behind, spun around by Hendrick. Zellweger trying to clear up for Gonsalves. Got the clear to center. 10.03 left here in period three. The tip surviving that recent shift. And they keep the lead at 2-1. Shots are 24-16. Vancouver, the faro to center, broken up by Gonsalves. Vancouver takes it back and Canick Leeper. Left side headman's Cole Shepard from the red will chisel it in. Sort of in Fairbrother pursuit of the corner. Tips knocked this one away. Bonstad can clear. Here's Horning. Wheels went around now to the right side. Zellweger neutralizes Roman. And a loose puck. Chip Gonsalves to Anderson and cleared. 9.25 to go. Giants take it back. Cole Shepard for the right wing. Roman snap shot knocked away. Lewis Buck picked up at the tips and Fairbrother ahead of Gage Gonsalves. Clear to center ice. 9.13 to go. Now left side Horning trying to chip it in. Blocked by Anderson. Gonsalves reversing on right wing. Here comes Kindop into the Vancouver zone. Right corner check by Canick Leepert. Nielsen feeds Prezuso with 8.55 remaining in regulation. Here comes Prezuso winding on through center. Left wing will chip and chase. Puck slow down by Wolf. On a platter for Wyatt Wiley. Headmans for lead to center ice. Broken up by Longo of Vancouver. Spun around by Berezowski. Seeley is there back in the silver tip zone and frees it for lead. 8.32 to go in regulation. Loose puck in the slot. Here's Vosnika. Hangs on looking in front. And the pass sails wide. Tips and Wiley take over deep in the zone. Up the left side for Lee. Chiseling one ahead. Kept in Vosnika. Checked by Berezowski. Vosnika threw one of the net. Missed the target. And picked up now by Wiley and cleared. 8.08 left. Gurney trying to beat the icing call. Out hustles Longo. To the backboards Gurney. Centering attempt. Missing Mitchell. Price picks up right side. Shoots save main 10 deck off the glove. Rebound to the far corner on Christensen. Tap for Price. Left corner trying to shake off Longo. Feeds it low to high. Christensen miss sandals. From the blue line, handing off for Price. Then Longo taken right back. Here's Mitchell draws a penalty. Mitchell dangling and touched up by Longo. And the tips will go to the power play here on a hooking call with 7.41 to go after this. For Town Everett, the tips get a power play with 7.41 to go in period three. Yeah, nice job there in that. Uh, drawing the penalty there by Mitchell, and now let's see if the Silver Tips can capitalize. Vancouver wins his face up, but Faro sends it down. Tips would love an insurance goal right here. One of one so far in the game, up 2-1. Kindop on a feed left wing. Foss had to Kindop and a shot knocked down by traffic. He had a wide open chance left circle. Wiley at the left point, across for Christensen. 
Hangs on, shoots one, save made, rebound in front, Kindop, saved by Tendek. Scramble, Fonstad sends it back. Here's Wiley across to Christensen, back to Wiley at center point. Left side, Fonstad walks in, pass in front, they score! The 23 this season. The Tips lead 3 1. Well, Bryce Kindop stuck with it on that shift because he was given a rough ride a couple of different times. He breaks into the zone, gets a shot away, and kind of gets upended and spills into the back, the end boards there behind the net. He gets up, he gets back to the front of the net. The puck finds him. He gets absolutely buried at the side of the crease in a scramble to 10 decks right. And then after that, he gets back up again. Positions himself right in that danger zone at the top of the crease, and Cole Fonstad puts it on a platter for him, redirects it in, and the Silver Tips are breathing a little bit more comfortable right now up a pair. That is a vintage Cole Fonstad assist. Montreal draft pick, hooking up Kindop, 20-year-old free agent, and already up to 23 goals on the season, and creeping up on the league leaders. Left side, Gertie, a sharp angle, bit this to that. And a loose puck kept in by the silver tips. Gertie reroutes it in deep. Broken up by Patricia, and now battling Jalen Price. 6.40 left. Patricia clears left wing. Jackson Shepard bumps it in. Taken back by Seeley. Long toss left wing looking for Conrad Mitchell into the zone. Late 2 on one on the pass in front and knocked away by traffic. Yeah, Justin Gurney in the crosshairs. Giants now take over with 6.19 to go in period three. Pafaro takes over as the tips go with Gonsalves, Vonstad, Olin Zellweger up front. Giants break out with speed. Nielsen into the offensive zone for the right wing. Fed the slot. Both backhand and Leeper. Jammed away by Fairbrother and out of the slot. Cleared the puck. A feed up the left wing for Zellweger, but he was checked by Prezuso. But now 5.52 to play. In regulation, the Silver Tips lead right now at 3-1 of the Vancouver Giants. Canick Leeper to head. Devostica into the offensive end. Prezuso. Left side harassed by Gonsalves. Fonstad took it away. Floating one ahead. Can Zellweger catch up with the Giants? Dropping two back. And Canick Leeper takes over. He breaks out of the Giants zone. Feeding it left side. Broken up by Fairbrother Silver Tip Blue Line. And Kindop pushing one ahead. Barazowski in on right wing. Shoots at a save made by Tendek. Rebound behind the Vancouver net. Giants take over. Morning's outlet, right side, Nielsen for the red, skates it in, silver tip zone. Right circle, harassed by Lee. Cycles for Sordiff, out of the corner, bumped away by Wiley. Tips take over, and Celia head to center with five minutes left. Puck cleared, tips now take over. Instead, our final five minutes brought to you by Rada Paint. And the silver tips, a three to one lead of the Vancouver Giants. Two of two in the man advantage here this evening. Long go to center, a head on left wing. It is horning into the offensive zone with 4.38 left. On a pass and back. Knocked away, and Price trying to spin this one free and out. Taken back by Cole Shepard, and clear back out by Justin Gurney. 4.23 to go in period three. This one sent down by Vancouver, but no icing call. No, no icing is. Caught the silver tips by surprise a little bit, but fortunately, Seeley, well aware, corralled it. New bodies out on the ice for Everett. 4 8 left. Tips now drive this one down behind the Vancouver net. And Gonsalves right corner check by Canick Leeper. Fonstad off bench along with Zellweger. Canick Leeper battling. Here's Fonstad right side. Back to the blue line, fed one on net. Save is made. Gonsalves was setting a screen. Loose puck behind the net. Gonsalves trying to shake off Canick Leeper. And against the backboards, Zellweger jumping in. The free by Roman taken back by Zellweger. Loose puck, right circle. And the Giants again take over. And it's clear back to center ice. 
3.27 to go. Jackson Shepard. Sent it in behind, broken up by Fairbrother and cleared. Up the left wing, Fonstad to Brendan Lee. Left corner, fed it behind the Vancouver net. Checked by Buffaro. Taken over by Fonstad. Out of the backboards, finds Lee. He cycles Barozowski. Loose puck near boards and Vostika. Bump to center ice. Cancel drives it back in with 3.01 to go in regulation. 3-1 silver tips. And has a new change coming here for the boys in green. Seth Buffaro to the red line. Vancouver brings it back in but stolen. Here comes Jalen Price. Forcing his way to center but broken up by Prezuso. And we have 2.44 to go in regulation. We'll keep our eye on 10 deck to our right. It's going to be about that time. 3-1 silver tips, third period. Puck at center. Nielsen knocked down, swings it in. Into the bench is 10 deck for a six skater. Boarding jumps out. Tips take over Christensen. Far boards kept in. Canik Lee for centering for sort of shoots and scores. Extra attacker goal. Justin sort of two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in regulation. And he picks up his 12th goal of this season. A wrist shot from between the circles. It's a 3-2 game. Yeah, talented player for sure. We've seen him at times tonight really shine brightly and right there got a huge goal right when his team needed it down two, you have to pull that goaltender a little bit early just to give yourself time to try to mount the comeback and right when they did i thought the silver tips were in a good position they had control of the puck granted in their own territory but had it tried to go up the boards and just a desperate play by the giants to keep it in they did so and then sort of finished it off so there is still 216 to go here in this one and the silver tips lead knocked down to one as they go now with Kindop Christensen, I beg your pardon, Fairbrother Gonsalves, and a whistle with two minutes and nine seconds left here in period three. Justin, what do you see? Well, the tips tried to clear it down the ice from their own end, went off glass, and it bounced along the boards in front of the benches. It just kept bouncing and bouncing, and it ended up hitting. One of the Giants players' sticks that kind of rests along the edge. And as it hit that stick, they blew it dead, and they're going to bring the face off all the way back into the Silver Tips end. Face off left circle, and the Silver Tips control. Ronan Seeley up the left wing for Fonstad, pushing ahead with 2.02 to go. Gonsalves took a loose puck, drives it back in wide of the Vancouver net, and 10 neck lets it go for Canic Leeper. 3 2 Silver Tips here in downtown Everett. Teddy Bear Tosk night is a tight one. Here comes Cole Shepard in on right wing. Silver tip zone into the right corner being watched by Seeley. Nearby is Roman and a puck sent back onto the line for Longo. Skates to his left. Will feed it over to the boards. Canick Leapert. On a feed and back broken up by Gianni Fairbrother. Jackson Shepard on the walkout right side up by Furlongo shoots and blocked by traffic loose puck is cleared back out by Fairbrother and Fairbrother was the guy that did the job got in front of that shot blocked it and then got the clear 119 left in regulation Ten Neck is waiting for the signal Vancouver worked it in deep but taken back by Fonstadt to the far boards Berezowski chisels this one back into the Vancouver zone a perfect play not enough for icing Seth Buffaro with 102 left in regulation. Carries the center, dropping it for Nielsen. Cut off by Justin Gurney. Nielsen winds back up right side. Will chip and chase to the benches. 10 deck to the sixth attacker again. 3 2 silver tips. Bonstad now checked by Vasika. Nearby is Kindop. Nearby is Christensen. Loose puck right boards. Battle rages on. 3 2 silver tips. Three by Buffaro at the right point. Hangs on, a toss to sort of his low wrist shot, save is made, rebound, scramble in front, knocked away, Christensen clears toward the net, shoots, and wide! Icing call coming up, and we have 24.5 seconds left in regulation. Uh, how close was it? You could probably gather by the groan let out that it was pretty darn close. Might have even grazed the outside of the netting there as it breezed by the right post and that close to really sealing it but 
Good job by the silver tips there last time in their own end, keeping it tied up. If, if you don't have a clear exit and you don't have a chance to fire on net, get it tied up, keep it along the boards, really killed off about 30 seconds, and then finally a good block, cleared it to the boards again, and Christensen took his chance from that position, knowing they had a timeout in the bank if needed. Sort of school at 17.38 from Alex Canick Leeper. That's it. And the present times, a 3-2 Silver Tips lead with 24.5 to go in regulation. And trying to seal up two points this evening. After dropping a tough one last night in Portland. And right now the Winter Hawks well in command in case you're wondering. 6-1 over the Tri-City Americans in Kennewick. Face-off coming left circle, Silver Tip zone at six on five, Vancouver, and the tip's up by a goal. Gonsalves against Milos Roman on this face-off. Justin Nichols set to drop the puck. And off the drop, side up, and eventually controlled by Kendall, trying to jam away. Kept in, Nielsen on the feet in front, rolls wide. Prezuzzo, sharp angle bit, save is made, deflection near boards, and clear by Bryce Kendall. Down it goes, nine seconds left. Longo, lead feet off of Nielsen skate. To the far board, three seconds left. Nielsen top speed. Into the zone on the right wing. No chance. Checked by Wiley. Game is over. And the Silver Tips have won it. How sweet it is on Teddy Bear Toss Night. Wire to wire for the Everett Silver Tips. Bryce Kendoff had the teddy bear toss goal. Two goal evening. This evening, Dustin Wolf, 25 save effort. And the Silver Tips knock off the Vancouver Giants in a 3 2 victory. Tips improving on the season to 22 6 and 2, 46 points. The Giants, after winning previously this last weekend, take the loss. Record falling to 14-14, one and one. They have 30 points. Stay tuned. Post game show is next. Brought to you by Tulela Resort and Casino. And this is Sound Transit Everett Silver Tips Hockey on KRKO Everett's Greatest Hits Sports.